Welcome back to our kitchen channel. Today, we're diving into a delicious and comforting Filipino dessert, Ginata Ang Bilo Bilo or Binignit. Wow. As we approach the Holy Week, it's the perfect time to explore traditional dishes enjoyed during this solemn season. Join us as we whip up this warm and aromatic dessert, perfect for sharing with family and friends during this meaningful time of the year. Let's get cooking. Here's how to make glutinous rice balls bilo bilo. In a mixing bowl, add glutinous rice flour. Gradually add water while stirring continuously until a thick dough forms. The dough should be firm and pliable, similar to the consistency of Play-Doh. Knead the dough on a clean surface for about five, seven minutes until it becomes smooth and elastic. If the dough is too dry, add a little more water. If it's too sticky, Add a bit more glutinous rice flour. Pinch off small pieces of the dough and roll them between your palms to form small balls. Aim for uniform sizes around one centimeter in diameter. You can adjust the size according to your preference. Place the formed bilo bilo balls on a plate or tray. Repeat the process until all the dough is used up, covering the bilo bilo balls with a damp cloth to prevent them from drying out while you work. Now your homemade bilo bilo balls are ready to be cooked and added to your favorite Filipino desserts, such as ginataang bilo bilo or binignit. Here's the ingredients for Benignit. Glutinous rice balls, bilo bilo, coconut milk, water, sweet potato, camote, diced, taro root, gabi, diced, purple yam, ube, diced, ripe plantain, saba banana, diced, jackfruit, lanka, strips, small sago pearls, tapioca pearls, cooked according to package instructions, white sugar, adjust to taste, and vanilla extract. Add coconut milk and sugar to the pot. Stir well. Add water. Simmer for a few minutes. Once boiling, add bilo bilo. jackfruit or lanka strips. Let it simmer for a few minutes. more water if needed. Add kamoti or sweet potato. Add ubi or purple yam. Add gabi. 
Kirby or Taro roots. Simmer until cooked. Once the root crops are tender, add the cooked sago or tapioca pearls. Add smashed ube. Then add saging nasaba or ripe plantain. Taste the benignit and adjust the sweetness by adding more sugar if needed. Stir in vanilla extract. Serve hot or chill. Share and enjoy your benignit. Adjust ingredient amounts according to your preference and the number of servings you want to make. Thank you for joining us today in the kitchen. We hope you enjoyed learning how to make this delicious recipe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more mouthwatering recipes, cooking tips, and culinary adventures. If you tried today's recipe, let us know how it turned out in the comments below. Until next time, happy cooking.